Hi there guys, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to make beautiful, clickable GUI text buttons and image buttons. Let's get started by going to our started GUI. We're going to click on the plus sign. We're going to add a screen GUI. Now we're going to select the screen GUI. We're going to add a frame. Here's our frame. I'm going to resize it. And let's give it some color. So I'm going to select the frame. I'm going to go to the properties window. And for background color, instead of white, I'm going to select maybe orange. Click OK. And now let's select the screen GUI again. We're going to click on the plus sign. We're going to add a text button. And I'm going to move my text button down to the lower right hand side corner of my screen. So basically, your screen GUI is going to serve as a canvas that you can stick different items on it. For example, here we're sticking the frame on our canvas and we're sticking a text button on our canvas. You can customize your text button the same way you customize a text label. So for more information on how to customize your text button, you can refer to our prior tutorial on text labels. Most of the properties of the text button are very similar to that of the text label. For example, here you can select your text button and go to the properties window and change the background color. So instead of white, we can change it to yellow. Click OK. You can change the size of your button. So just go to the size property and you can enter 0.1 comma 0 comma 0.1 comma 0. So the scale, the X and Y scale is 0.1 and the offsets are 0. Hit enter. And now you can move your button to a different location if you like. Scroll down a little bit more. We have the text property. Here you can change the text that is shown on the button. So instead of button, you can change it to close. Here you have text scale. You can check this box here so the text fits nicely inside the button. And to make your button more beautiful, you can select your button and add a UI corners to it. UI corner. Now if you look at your button, you can see that the corners are rounded. To make your button extra awesome, you can go to the button and select the button and we're going to go and add a sound to it. So I'm going to go to the toolbox. I'm going to search for audio in the drop down and we're going to look for a press sound. I like the sound here for my button. So I'm just going to click on insert and it goes under the button. Now we're going to rename this to sound. You can go ahead and close your toolbox. And now to make your button clickable, what we're going to do is we're going to add a local script to the button. So we're going to select the text button. We're going to add a local script. In your local script, just enter the following lines. The parent of the script is our text button. And here we're declaring the frame. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to use this button to toggle on and off the frame. Here we're using the activated event of the button. So when the button is activated, when we click on the button, it's going to play the sound that we have selected from the toolbox and place it under our text button. And then it's going to toggle on and off the visible property of our frame, which means it's going to display the frame or it's going to hide the frame. Let's now play test and take a look. So you can see here is our button and here's the frame. If I click on the button, it toggles on and off the frame. And each time you can hear the sound. And that is how you make a beautiful clickable text button. An image button is very similar to a text button. So here we're going to select the frame because we want to put the image button inside the frame and we're going to click on the plus sign. We're going to add an image button. Again, we can click and drag our image button to wherever we want. Most of the properties of the image button are the same as those of the text button. But there are three properties that are unique to the image button. So if you go to select your image button now and go to your properties window, you're going to find that the image button has the image property here, has the hover image property and the press image property. Let's now take a look to see how those work. So I'm going to start with the image property. I'm going to go to my toolbox and I'm going to go to my creations. I'm going to search for a decal. 
and here I have a bunch of decals for my button. So for the first button, I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to right click copy asset ID and go to my image property. I'm going to click on that and paste it in. So this is how my image button is going to look. Now I'm going to copy the next one here. So I'm going to right click on the next one, copy asset ID. And I'm going to go to the hover image property. I'm going to click on that and paste it in. And lastly, I'm going to right click and copy on this one here. And go to my press image property, click on that, paste it in. Now, if I hover my mouse cursor over the, this uh, button, you can see it changes. And if I click on it, it changes to a different image. So we have three different images, one for the natural state. And then when I hover over the, the button, it gives me a different image. And when I click on it, it gives me a different image. But if you only have one single image to use, that is fine too. To give you an example of that, we're gonna go ahead and delete the press image here. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna blank that out. And also, we're gonna delete the hover image here. So we're gonna blank that out. All right, so now I only have one single image. I'm gonna change the image of my button. Instead of that, I'm gonna change it to the fire here. So I'm gonna right click, copy asset ID, and come over here, click on that, paste it in. So now my button has an image of the fire, and it does not have an image for when my cursor goes over the button, and it does not have a different image for when I click on the button. Let me go ahead and close my toolbox here. To make our image button clickable, the script is basically exactly the same as the one for the text button. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our text button, and actually we're gonna copy all three to the image button. So I'm gonna copy the sound, the UI corner to make the button more beautiful, and the local script. We're gonna select all three, right click and copy. I'm gonna to go to the image button, right click and paste into. And now you can see my button has rounded corners. Now we're gonna to go to our local script that we have just copied over. Let me close this one first. This one was for the text button. We're gonna leave that one alone, but now we're gonna to go to the local script of the image button here. So let me open that. If I'm just going to use the script, what it's going to do is when you click on it, it's going to close this uh, frame. So the, the button is going to disappear. So let's make a change to that. Instead of toggling the frame on and off, I'm going to change it to toggle the text button on and off. You can go ahead and enter the following scripts. Basically, everything is exactly the same as before. The only difference is we're going to declare our text button here so we can toggle on and off our text button. And again, each time we're going to play the sound. Let's play test and take a look. So remember, our text button here can toggle on and off the frame, but our image button here can toggle on and off our text button. Now to make your button even more beautiful, you can assign a different color to the button depending on what state it is in. In your script, just add in the following lines. Down here, our image button is connected to four different events. So we have the mouse enter, when the mouse enter the button event, we have the mouse button one down, that is when you click on the button, mouse button one up, that is when you let go of the click button, and mouse leave, that is when you move away from the button. So mouse enter is when you hover over the button and mouse leave is when you leave the button. All right, and each of these events is connected to the same function, the change color function. So depending on what state the button is in, you're gonna change the color of the button. When the cursor is over the button, we're gonna give it this color here, which is blue. And when the button is clicked, we're gonna give it this color here, which is green. Otherwise, we're going to give it the natural state color, which is white. Again, let's play test and take a look. So here again, we have the text button that toggles on and off the frame. And when I hover my mouse over the button, you can see the color changes. When I click on it, 
the color changes. When I let go, it changes. And when I move the mouse away, it changes. So here, take a look again. I'm gonna click on it. It goes on and off the text button. And each time you can see the color changes. See, hover over, remove it, over, remove, and then we click, let go. And there it is. Guys, that is how you make beautiful clickable GUI text buttons and image buttons in Roblox.